Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. So with the menus finished, I then started on localization and discovered that the Unity localization package, the official Unity localization package, didn't work with the brand new UI toolkit package. So I've shelved that for now. I could say I've shelfmaned that for now. <laughs> Please stop talking. With menus done, I decided to do a land test here with my somewhat brutal teenage son and he came back with some really good advice. The first one was some quality of life stuff that I'll just fix. And another one was that once you've built your pipe network and you're clomping around the environment, there's nothing really in there at the moment to force you to rebuild it. Now in the future, there's lots of things that I can do to force the players to rebuild their pipe network. But he's right, for now, once you've built it, then you go clomping and you can leave it alone largely. I was glad that there was no huge bugs though. That was, that was, yeah, very lucky really. Now the next thing was scheduled was clomper proxy movement. Now we'll come back to that because before I got onto that, I needed to change the way in which I was running up the game. Since I had the menus in, when I press play, this would happen. You'd go to the start menu, you'd navigate through the menus, you have your loading screen, yada, yada, yada. That's a lot of steps to take if you're just quickly trying to test something. In Unity, chances are you press play, you want the scene that you're in. Now the main scene doesn't actually have everything in it that I need. So I created a scene switcher which will load up the individual different scenes that are needed so that when I hit play, I go straight into the game. That's much quicker. That also allowed me to split out the clomper proxy. Now that was important to split out because I knew that I wanted to just press play and then move some dials and make the clomper proxy move rather than having to steer everything from within inside the clomper like a normal player. For that, you need a test scene. It's quite normal to make lots of scenes. I recommend it. So why change the clomper proxy movement? The clomper moves around all right, doesn't it? Well, in my drawings, you would see that the clomper is clomping along on these six huge mechanical legs. But the players, they can't see outside the clomper, so there's no point putting them in. So I faked it up until now. And it worked, sort of. The way the clomper moved was using the physics engine in Unity, but it slid along the ground on these six invisible tiny little spheres. They're sort of small and hard to see, but they are there. That was all right except it made the clomper really sensitive to the corners of ramps and anything that the clomper should be able to step over because it's on six mechanical legs, right? That wasn't the only problem that I had. To keep the clomper from accelerating off to infinity, I needed to use drag. However, that slowed the clomper down when falling. So when you go off the edge, all the boxes will float up in the air and bounce again the ceiling. And they should float there until you hit the ground where they should clomp back down to the ground. But that's not what happened. If you look closely, the boxes flow up in the air, but then they sink back down to the ground again. And that's because the clomper itself is falling more slowly than gravity because of the drag. So I wanted to get rid of the drag. Okay, everything has a little bit of drag, but I needed a lot to stop it from disappearing off to infinity. So what did I change? Well, rather than using forces, I used velocity. Jasper Flick, who is cat-like coding, has done a huge number of wonderful blog articles. Go check them out, link down in the description. For the clomper, I set different velocities depending on whether there are legs touching. Let's have a look at what they are. Legs push up against gravity to a certain height. Legs push forward depending on the amount of steam. It slows going up and speeds up going down and I set rotation. Outside influences like the roller conveyors, we'll come back to that, gravity takes over when there are no legs touching, and so on. If you're setting velocity yourself, it gets complicated pretty fast. 
So with the roller conveyors, at first I tried to mix velocity and force, but it didn't work. So just use velocity for that. I've told you lots of times that I'm really good at controlling scope creep, and I am. I can feel Geordie staring at me as I'm saying, I could, I could feel his grinning face. Up until now, I've done very little scope creep, the smallest things. Anything that I've done has been directly necessary for the game. However, I went a bit off piste. Well, I've been doing a lot more marketing in the form of Twitter and some more Discord stuff. And it started to look a bit weird that you had this ladybird hovering around on a cushion of air. So it's time to put some legs on it. If you really feel the need to scope creep, as I did, then first you need to write down exactly what it is that you want to achieve. Don't be fluffy. And how long you're willing to just waste on it. For me, it was six legs. I had a design ready. I knew that I wanted to spend only seven hours doing it. And then at the end of that, whatever I had, it would do. The first models for the legs that I made were a bit creepy, like a spider. I wanted chunkier, friendlier, clumpier, more machine-like legs, so I scrapped those. I decided I was going to use Unity's animation rigging package, which is really good, and I began using the IK because I could follow any number of tutorials to do that. I couldn't quite get the motion that I wanted. All the legs were a bit spindly and bendy and wiggly and wobbly, I wanted it to be more solid, more clumpy, but it was seven hours and I was done. End of the time box. I thought, right, got to get on with this devlog. I stuck up a forum post on Unity just in case anyone would come along to help out. But really, I was kind of done. It was fine for marketing. It was fun on Twitter. People liked it. So I started planning this devlog and I did something with Git. For the record, I use Git all day every day on the command line in exactly the same way. And yet I did something incredibly stupid and I lost the code and the prefabs and the scene setup. Pretty much everything had gone seven hours down the drain. Ah, oh, it hurts thinking about it now. <laughs> it still hurts. This was a time box task. I had my seven hours. I did my seven hours. I'd finished my seven hours. I was done. So what do I do? So I decided to build them again, and this time I wouldn't use IK, I'd try and fake it in a different way. But it feels right now, and with this new movement the clomper can go over really weird obstructions and bumps and lumps, which is kind of what I want, it's what you'd expect from a beetle. So in short, I'm really happy with that, and I'm not going to play with it again, probably. It's a lot of fun playing with it, it's not necessary, but it's a lot of fun. You can't see it from in the clomper. People like it, it's immediately obvious. I can show that to my family and they go, oh, it's a little mechanical ladybird, it's plonking along. Don't do it. Discord's community has really grown for me and we have Lecho Lab and we have a Voluted Beret who are putting in their own clomper solutions to my leg problems, which was wonderful. It really spurred me on to fix it, even though it was scope creep and guys, you're not helping, but you were helping, and it was great. So thank you so much for joining in on those. What do you think of this format? Do you like me talking into the camera? Want to get rid of my silly old face? Is it a bit weird? Grizzled old nightmare. Is it a bit too raunchy? Bit too weird? Can you not control yourself? <laughs> was it good fun? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, bye bye. That only took me half an hour. This video is probably about eight minutes. <laughs> It took me half an hour. I, I hope the camera's recorded. It has. <laughs>